What I'm going to present today is a survey on working academic conditions, academic time usage, perception, and academic performance during the COVID-19 lockdown and confinement uh, that we uh, did at the Complutense University of uh, Madrid. Um, sorry. Um, okay, what we are going to, um, uh, to present is this survey. As I said, we uh, did it at the UCM in June 2020, and we did it uh, to all faculty staff, and uh, we got uh, 1,619 responses that it was uh, almost 27% of the population, the total population. So we are a big university. So we have a strong data on that. Uh, we adapted from a previously planned uh, academic time usage uh, survey. And of course, we, we had some, we had to adapt. And uh, we, for example, we, we uh, talked that we asked about perception of uh, time usage and not time usage per se. Okay, the preliminary results were very um, uh, clear um, and uh, in general, female faculty staff have, have experienced a much harder time during the lockdown than, the lockdown than their uh, male colleagues. In general, they have had worse working conditions. Uh, they uh, have increased the time for both domestic and caring uh, work and also academic work. Uh, gender roles are confirmed and aggravated during uh, lockdown and, uh, for example, women teaching and management and men research and publishing, as we will see. And of course, this has consequences in academic performance. So, um, working conditions. Uh, regarding um, what we call the physical working conditions, um, we should say that the restrictions in Spain during the lockdown were uh, among the hardest. Uh, and it was completely prohibited to go outside except for walking the dog or doing the essential uh, groceries. So there were no walkings, no exercise or whatever. We asked for computer equipment, internet connections, in the, an independent room for working and having an outside space such as a terrace, courtyard or garden. And uh, we found significant difference in, the, in those two that you have in the, in the screen. Uh, have a good computer uh, equipment and have uh, a room. We also asked about the uh, size of the apartment house and found differences we still need to, to further explore, but there is a clear higher proportion of women living in smaller houses than uh, men. We think this might be a proxy of a clear gender equality pay gap in academia. Uh, there was also a significant differences, uh, significant difference between uh, single mothers and single uh, fathers. Um, we, um, following with uh, working conditions um, during confinement, uh, we also uh, the, we, we found a statistical significant differences in all those related to the psychological impact. So women claimed they felt more sadness, preoccupation, anxiety and stress, feeling overwhelmed and losing control. And it was very clear those uh, differences. Uh, regarding um, the domestic work and caring for people, uh, it is confirmed, it was confirmed the difference that exists in the in time used um, studies, um, right? So, uh, but we also found that uh, those differences were aggravated during lockdown and there were differences, uh, significant differences uh, in more time for women in domestic work, uh, general domestic work, children care, elderly care, uh, home, homeschooling, and less time uh, than men uh, in going out to do the essential uh, groceries, exercise, sport, and leisure. 
regarding uh, the dedication to academic uh, work and uh, the, this perception, before the lockdown uh, period, women say they spent slightly less time per week uh, on academic work than men. Uh, but during confinement, these data uh, are turned around. Uh, women claimed much, much more um, uh, uh, time uh, than men, okay, um, more than, than before and, and more than men. And, and of course, here we need to say that uh, this reported weekly time is a general mean, uh, taking into account that part-time faculty was also included. Uh, figures for uh, full-time uh, uh, staff uh, are a rollover uh, 40 hours per week and, and we think it is important to say that because we, we think that we have a problem, an issue uh, in the idea that the career, uh, the academic career model, model is requiring an, an over-dedication which is quite incompatible with the sustainability of life. Okay, uh, about uh, time perception and dedication to the academic work. So uh, we, 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 we asked uh, for time dedicated for uh, different academies, uh, academic tasks. And we see that gender roles um, in academic work are confirmed and aggravated during uh, lockdown. Women spend more time uh, in general, not only uh, into academic work, but uh, preparing classes and attending students and main writing and publishing papers and articles. It is a stri uh, striking the change in the perception of dedication to writing and publishing during the lockdown, as you can see in the slide. There are also significant differences in some management issues as women spend more time applying for merit evaluation, what we say submissions of application before confinement and uh, participating in commissions and committees before and after. Um, this might have to do with the perverse effect of gender quotas and committees uh, requiring um, uh, for women uh, being um, as, as uh, being in committees uh, in, in underrepresented uh, fields. Okay, um, <clears throat> regarding uh, uh, the satisfaction of uh, work in general, men say that they are more satisfied than women, and we found uh, significant differences in the in the uh, option of I feel quite satisfied, as you can see in the slide. Uh, following uh, with, uh, with this uh, academic uh, performance, we also asked about uh, to what extent respondents uh, agree with different statements related uh, to their academic uh, work during confinement and uh, this escalation. And um, they were, we found significant differences uh, for women. Uh, they, they claim much more uh, than men working at unusual hours, difficulties uh, for working without being interrupted, and using concentrating on work as a way to deal in with the uh, situation. Um, however, uh, men uh, say that they have used more uh, time to catch up on delayed issues. And this is uh, very uh, strong. They were no different, no different significant differences in, in having felt comfortable working at home, efficient, feeling efficient in, in teaching and management uh, issues. Um, about uh, there was another item, okay, also that we asked uh, about the a series of circumstances that may may have affected uh, their academic uh, performance during the crisis. Women uh, said it has affected their academic perform performance, the attention to their family, the number of hours of household, uh, housework and care, their emotional state, catching up on online tools and the accumulation of tasks and the difficulty to cope with all of them. And of course, uh, this has um, consequence in academic uh, performance, as uh, you can see. Um, because uh, we asked um, for uh, public publishing, I mean, and, and, and uh, pr academic production uh, for uh, 2019 uh, to see if there were uh, differences. 
And as you can see, uh, the perception, and, and, and it's not the perception we ask, and uh, men have published significantly more book chapters, articles, patents, and artica, artistic and musical uh, works. We asked both uh, if they sent to publish in 2019 and if they were published. Okay, and you have uh, there uh, the, and the figures. And uh, also we asked during the pandemic and the lockdown. Of course, here we asked for if they have worked on it and if they have sent to published. We, we are showing here only where we found the significant difference between uh, uh, men and women, all of them in the same direction, uh, with, uh, men producing uh, uh, more. And um, during the confinement, men have also worked more on almost everything. And, um, and you can see all, all, all those uh, figures. And we uh, think it is very um, uh, curious, the difference in sending to published popular science uh, articles uh, by men, that this was not, uh, this was not a significant difference uh, before the confinement. So, of course, this is to be continued. Um, still, we have a lot of information to be analyzed and variables to be crossed, analyzed, and, and, and for example, to see and to cross and be, uh, see the difference between people with or without family duties that we are sure we will find. We are going to replicate that survey also in other universities of the SUPERA consortium. And, and of course, we are going to use that for sharing and thinking together uh, in the different uh, uh, institutions of the SUPERA consortium for thinking what, which kind of measures or what we can do, or what, what we should include in the gender equality uh, plans um, uh, regarding this. So thank you so much and bye-bye. Uh,